Jones. Elias Pedersen starts this one at center between Ilya Mikheyev and Andre Kuzmenko. And it's the Oilers controlling first with Darnell Nurse shooting the puck into the Vancouver zone. Pedersen hooks it up the middle. Kept in by Nurse, who sent it towards the goal. Gagne was there looking for a tip, but couldn't make contact. Now a sharp angle shot from Evander Kane. And that's handled by Patrick Elko. Pedersen gets the puck. Sweeps it up the near side. And here's Mikheyev dishing that. Hit Carson Soucy in the skate. But Pedersen relieves any type of pressure by just banking the puck out to center ice. Nurse, pass ahead. Here's McDavid moving in. Connor McDavid trying to get around. Horlick got a backhander away. And that was stopped by Thatcher Demko. McLeod on this line to start the game. And McDavid gets on the bench and then on his horse as he's zipping in and doesn't get much on that backhand. Thatcher Demko doesn't give him much. And Quinn Hughes gets the puck off the face up. Puts it off the glass. Kept in by Bouchard at the point, but now chipped ahead by Di Giuseppe. Back comes McDavid through the defense. Drop pass. McLeod off the shoulder of Demko. Joshua. And Suter combined to move the puck out to center. Dry settle, throws it in. Here's Fogel behind the defense, in on goal, stopped by Demko. Fogel tried to go between the legs along the ice. Whether it's seven or six has looked very sharp to begin. Di Giuseppe gets the puck towards Queen Hughes. It's held in by Cody Ceci. Now, here's Renault Lavoie, or Raphael Lavoie, pardon me. And they get into the line, but not out. Oilers attack down low. Gagne shoots, missed by a mile. Puck comes off the glass. Ekholm keeps it at the left point. Around for Gagne. Skip past him. Here's Kane. Gagne centers. Ekholm scores! A blast from Matthias Ekholm with 16 seconds to go in the power play. And the Oilers have drawn first blood. Take a pass from Hughes. Now set one forward. Here's Kuzmenko. And Andre Kuzmenko turning with the puck. Drops off. Hughes in front. Tipped in. McHale. an own goal. Hughes will get credit. Quick little spin. We've seen this and then behind the back to Hughes to the front of the net. Darnay is trying to get his partner when he's got a chance can get there as well. Here's Joshua on the right wing. Nice pass. Suter scores! Three game goal streak for Hughes Suter. From behind the net, up ice, you couldn't execute this entry any better. A few suitor. And that's tied for the third most in the NHL. And the Canucks control off of Miller faceoff when he takes a pass from Hughes. He shoots, knocked down, Besser scores! They're looking to add another here with the man advantage. You know, a two-way guy, it's Mike Yo. I mean, you name it, they have somebody who's played that role. Adam Foote's pretty good, too. Well, right? <laughs> Stay-at-home defenseman. Yeah, it's, uh, you were commenting on that this morning. There's an open goal as Demko got caught out, and the Oilers have their second. Demko got caught up behind the net, holding the puck, and then Hamlin runs into him and takes his right pad out. Ends his seven-game goal drought. Here's a 2 on for Vancouver. Lafferty in with Beauvillier. Lafferty shoots. Kicked out. Home run. scores. Nils Hoaglander started it. Chipped the puck up the boards to create the two-on-one. And then as the trailer, he popped home the rebound to make it four to two. Hoaglander starts it. Joins the rush. Lafferty with the hard shot. The rebound is juicy. And capitalized on. Past the glove. Skinner can't react in time. Canucks get their two-goal lead back. Hoagie Hockey. And he'll turn. Regroup inside his own blue line. Pass ahead to Besser. Brock Besser to JT Miller. Feeds back to Philip Perona. Puts one on. Goalie hit the post. He just sent me in the rebound. It wide. Didn't get a good shot away. It's being in the offensive zone, but here's Ronick towards the net. And it's off the skate of Nurse and past the blocker off the post. And Giuseppe has to wait. 
Shovels the puck around to the far side. Garland there to chip it out. Dakota Joshua gets through. He's got Suter going to the net. Passes in front. Suter deeks. And Skinner shut the door just in time. Just willing yourself to a scoring position, getting a pass, and trying to go with the five-hole backhand deke, and it just hits the right pad. As Skinner is going down to... And the Canucks looking to further distance themselves from the Oilers in the Pacific Division and Western Conference standings. That game will be the third last game of the year for the Canucks in April against Edmonton. Pull that card out again. Oilers control after the faceoff. Dry settle. Works his way to the blue line. Pedersen trying to stay with him. There's Bouchard one timer. Tip stop. Pulled on the rebound. Put to the crease. Susie from his knees able to dig it away. And now Kuzmenko tried to make a play at the blue line. But he's able to atone for that giveaway by stealing the puck back and flipping it to the Oiler line. Well, Tyler Myers knocked down his man Holloway in front, and he was in no position to be able to get to that puck. And then with Susie on his knees, he's the one that gets, digs it out of the pads. Here's Holloway in with a wrist shot. Demko couldn't squeeze it. Holloway jams at it, loose on the goal line, and they put it in. JT Miller tried to keep it out, but I think it was Holloway who got the last touch. And the Oilers, one minute into the third period, have pulled within a goal. We're jamming away at this. We're saying they weren't getting a lot off the rush, but this one's directed towards the net and not handled cleanly. It's in the blue. It starts going in. And then off a of Canucks skate, all the way with the shot. It leaks off the blocker. He follows up. And Fogel, pretty intent on that celebration. We'll see from here as he digs away. And it went up his skate, but it was right on the goal line. They didn't challenge when Hamblin the ran into Demko. I don't think it's a challenge. I think they're looking for what you said. The kick. Review, it's determined that the Edmonton player kicked the puck. There you go. Fogel doesn't like it. Miller trying to shake free. Puck knocked off his stick. Here comes Hyman. Checked by Hughes, and that frees up the puck for Hironic. He slides it ahead. Besser has it. Three on two Canucks. Brock Besser centers. Miller stopped by Skinner. And an even nicer backhand leading sauce. And Miller is trying to redirect it. As Skinner's backing into the blue paint. Takes it off the pants. Boy, if that had gone in. Now McDavid checked by Hughes. Hello. Leaves the puck for Pedersen. He breaks up with Pew Suter. Leaves Pedersen down on the left wing. Pedersen, Suter, cuts in front. Stopped by Skinner. We'll sort it out when we come back. Canucks close to a fifth goal here, but Suter denied his second of the night. Pedersen in. Making moves on Kulak, who forced him to the corner. Garland comes in to help out, and the Canucks get the puck back to Hironic. Two defensemen out there for Vancouver. Quinn Hughes, JT Miller shoots, hit both posts! Hit one post, maybe hit the bar, and then the other post. Pedersen's calling goal. The referee waved it off, that's Pollock. Yeah. The old ring around the rosy. Blocker post. Up top, webbing of the net. And then out. Oilers have 30 seconds left on this power play. Here's Holloway cutting right in front. Demko to the right pad down to stop that one. After McDavid was in some rough stuff, then McDavid takes a penalty at the end of the next play. Here's a turnover. Shooter shoots. Hit the post. At one point, the shots were 19 to 2 for Edmonton. And then the Canucks scored a goal. Here's Hughes to the side. Pedersen, Besser scores! Besser has his sixth against the Oilers this year. The passing. And the end result is a perfect 10. Miller to Besser for his 10th of the season. Canucks extend their lead in the third. And they're going to count it down now as the Canucks improved to 3-0 against the Oilers. 